Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here. I'm at Sweetwater and I'm sitting down with the Yamaha P125. As of right now, 2018, it is Yamaha's newest addition to the P series of portable digital pianos. Its predecessor, the 115, is a very popular instrument still, but in my opinion, the 125 is an improvement on that model. The Yamaha P125 has four layers of CF sampling opposed to three in the 115. So what this means is whenever they take a grand piano and they sample it for a digital piano like this, they can take so many gradients between soft and loud, so pianissimo to fortissimo. This has four layers, four levels rather than three. So what that means is you get more gradients between loud and soft allowing you to be more expressive. It's gonna get you closer to playing on an acoustic instrument. I've had the P125 in my office here at Sweetwater for a while, and I've done a lot of practicing on the headphones, and I've actually really enjoyed it. I think that comes from this new technology Yamaha has called the Stereophonic Optimizer. What that does is makes it sound like you're listening to the piano in a room rather than listening to it in headphones. So it gives it sort of this space and, you know, the way you would hear it if you were practicing it in you know, your bedroom on the outboard speakers. It makes it a lot more enjoyable to practice with headphones, in my opinion. The speakers themselves are an improvement in the 125 as well. I think that comes from the improved tweeter, which is something they have. The tweeter is, of course, which produces higher sounds in a speaker. And I find from owning a P95, which is actually discontinued, and also playing on the P115, that these speakers are definitely an improvement. So obviously you can control all the settings within the 125 with the buttons here on the top. So like metronome, the drum tracks, uh, you can record yourself. There's a two track recorder. You can change between different sounds, different voices. But the coolest thing, in my opinion, about the 125 is this new Smart Pianist app that Yamaha has created. It literally lets you control everything in the keyboard from an iPad or an iPhone. So actually it is only for iOS devices. So you can control the whole keyboard with an iOS device. That's really cool. So let me show you some of what the app can do. When you first open it up, you're in what's called the piano room, starting on just the grand piano. And then for instance, you can switch to the bright grand just by swiping like this. You can hear the difference between those two. Grand, bright grand. It has a little bit more uh, cut through on it. It'll cut through. Those are just two of the piano sounds. Um, another thing about the 125 is it actually has 10 new voices in it. So the P115 had 14, the 125 has 24. So on the app, you can cycle through all those voices by touch. So when you click on the instrument like this, it opens up a whole menu. So that was the bright grand, the bright grand we were just playing. Uh, one of the new instruments is the live grand. So let's check out that one.
There's also the Ballad Grand, which is a more mellow kind of piano you'd probably use for ballads, obviously. There are some new electric pianos in the 125 as well. There's actually a new voice in every section. So there's a new organ, there's addition of a clave, which I'll show you too. So here's one of the electric pianos. There's the stage E piano. Sort of like your classic Rhodes. Of course, the classic DX7 sound. The vintage E piano, that's kind of like your uh, Wurlitzer, maybe with some tremolo on it. And then a new one I really like, I think this is an awesome sound, it's called synth piano. And it's got this sort of breathy, cross between a synth kind of grand piano sound. Organs, there's a jazz organ which has been on the P-series before. A rock organ, that's an additional thing. It's got sort of buzz to it. Switching gears from jazz and rock, there's an organ principle, which I would say is similar to if you're going to play prelude music, maybe for a wedding or a church. So it's your typical kind of cathedral organ sound. And then there's organ tutti, which is all the pipes engaged. Yeah, really great sounding cathedral organ. In this section there's also vibraphone. and harpsichord, which has been on the other models. There's also the string section, so strings that came on the last model as well. Something new is the slow strings, so it has sort of slower attack, so if you want something that's a little more subtle. Very beautiful. Choir sound. A 
great addition, a synth pad. Now, something common you might want to do is layer piano on top of synth or piano and strings, for instance. The cool thing is you can control all that in the app. So if I want to layer synth pad, all I have to do is click layer right here, and then I can go to my main voice, change it to grand piano. Now I have grand piano and under layer here, synth pad. And I can change the layer to any instrument that I want. So if I want electric piano and DX7, I can do that. So moving on from the voices, another section which you get to by clicking the menu button over here is the song section. And what that lets you do is bring in songs from your device and manipulate them in different ways. So you can practice with them. They'll actually come through the speakers. Anything you play through the app will come through to you. Uh, this is also where you can record tracks using the two-track recorder that's built in to the P125. So let me go ahead and select a song. I have some songs that I've already loaded in using Dropbox, but you can also pull it from the iTunes library as well. So here's a little uh, rock and roll loop that I put together just for fun. And I'm going to use it to show you some of the features of the song section. So now it's loaded on. So one of the coolest things about the song feature is it will actually generate a chord chart just by listening to the recording. So I just loaded this song in and it's already got chords here. It will also play along in time with the recording. So let's listen to this loop. Yeah, so as you can see while the song's playing, it's tracking along with the chords. You can also go in and edit it. Now the, the chords, it does a pretty good job actually. I was surprised. Of course, the more complicated the song, the more complicated the harmony of the bass line. It might not get it exactly right, but that's why you can go in and edit. So I noticed in the beginning, this D chord, it says D minor. I'd really rather, I'd really rather if it was a D major. So when you click on the chord, it'll actually play it for you, I don't know if you notice that, and say, okay, my first change is a D major, not a D minor, so I can go in and click D, and now it's going to change it in the app. I can do it again right here if I want to. There we go, and now I just edited my chord chart. And of course, I can play along with it. Yeah, so I can practice along with that track all day. Say I want to change the key, I want to transpose it, I want to make it go faster or slower, I can do that too. So here, I'll speed up the tempo a little bit. Yeah, and change the key, like so. Yeah. 
You can also create recordings from the keyboard as well. So let me show you that. You click the record button, which is down there, and then you can I can actually either choose to record over the song I already have in there or I can record a new song. So let's record a new song. So I can click new song right here and it'll load for a second. And then a cool feature is you can either record an audio as a wave or you can record as MIDI and then you can export that out later if you want to. So here's a new song and click record. <laughs> Okay, so now I got a little something there, and now I can listen back to it right away. Cool. And then I could record another track on top of that if I wanted to. I can export it out, I can send it via messenger or email. It's all really cool. And then you click save, and now my track's in the iPad. Well, then the song section, you can also open the 50 classical music masterpieces. And what's really awesome is you can look at them in score form and you can click play and watch them play along. So let's say here's a uh, sonata by Beethoven. I can open that up and then click done here. And now here it is in score form and I can click play. and I can watch it track along in time. Again, I can also slow it up, slow it down if I want to learn this piece. Boy, what an awesome tool to have that. The I.O. of the P125 includes two headphone outputs right here. It's got the power supply on the back side, stereo aux out, which is quarter inch out, left and right. It's got the pedal unit. Something cool about the pedal unit is if you get the pedal accessory, you can use the three pedals with the piano sounds, but you can also use it to control the rotary on the jazz organ. That's a really cool, neat feature. There's also the sustain for the sustain pedal and the USB out, which is how I was able to connect to the iPad, use the Smart Pianist app. You can also use it to connect to your computer and use it with music creation software. One more important thing to mention about the P125 and all the P-Series instruments really is how portable they are. And I love it because it's so light and I can take it wherever I want. I've even taken it on vacation with me before when I need something to practice on because you can't beat the feel, the weight, and the touch and the portability of this instrument. So I would definitely recommend adding it to your list if you're interested in an 88 key weighted keyboard as such as this one. If you have more questions about it, you can call your Sweetwater sales engineer. They'd be happy to help you out. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much.